part of me talking to you. I know. Yeah. So what did you just tell me just now since our last talk? What happened? So I've had five sales since the last time we talked. And how, just, how, just week how expensive is the product that you're selling? Um, well, two of them. So it's four different ways. So that uh, I was have products, but uh, two of them are five thousand dollar machines. Oh, extremely high ticket products. Yeah. And, and it depends think, on my commission of where I'm at, but yeah. Well, that's so, fine. So what do you think helped you get to those sales? Like, well, you and I talking because you oh. just were saying, get out there, do the sales and right. how you told me to get out there and do it. And yeah, how definitely. did you feel when yeah, I first no, you said that? How, 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 did, how did you feel when I first said that? First said what? That was you? When I was like, you know, Hey, you gotta get off the bench. Stop, stop. Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I have just been definitely sitting on the bench. <laughs> and, and you got off the bench and now you just made some money because you got off the bench. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, all right, yeah. that's, that's all I want to hear. Telling me that I deserve it and I should just go do it. It was, I, I don't know. And the accountability of it, it was good, all good. 100%, 100%. Yeah. The accountability, knowing that you deserve it. And remembering that it's not about you per se. These people, they needed something from you. You sold them on your passion and your vision and something you're passionate about. And all of a sudden, like, yeah, you know what? I don't know if I want to give it to you now. And you're like, I shouldn't do that. That was so wrong. I know. Especially with this gal, this this one gal. So, because um, my cousin, I've been working on her for a while. But uh, I actually just needed to get that done. And that was, the process is so with these machines because it's, you have so many, so much paperwork. And it's, like I said, I just don't do it enough to streamline it. But with her, I had to make a couple phone calls about it. And, but with this gal, when I talked to her, she was like, I'm so glad you didn't forget me mm, mm, after mm. I said that. And I was like, ah, oh, I can't believe I, and I did. I said, I apologize. It's taken me from June to now to get back to you. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. And they, I told you, these people need you. This is why it's important to follow up and don't let your so fear stupid. or your ego prevent you from doing what you know is right. And what's important. The fact that she said that most people are thinking that they don't say it. She actually said that. So that, how did that feel when she said that? How did you feel? I, I just couldn't believe it. Really. I was just like, I almost didn't get, my end result, which was what I wanted, all because of my fear. Mm. Powerful. Powerful. Ah, uh, sick. It's, I mean, it's sickening feeling, really. Right. <laughs> because, right. Uh, because, like, I'm not getting her what she needs, but I'm also like, I totally just put off anything I needed. Six and, months. And for what? Nothing. Fear. That's it. Exactly. Sick, sick name. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I'm glad you got this. All I mean, shit, hella sales. I know, but guess what? I'm. Uh, have I done the second call? No. Well, that's fine. You did your first one, and that turned into something. Now today, you will do your second call, and you can continue the momentum. <laughs> uh, do not let this momentum yeah. stop. Especially now in the holiday season, people are in the mood to buy for themselves or for gifts or for whatever reason. Take advantage. Take advantage. Yeah. yeah. What I what I've been recognizing is that I immediately as I go to sit and actually make the call, I give that litany of it's a bad time, their work, their you know, mm -hmm. and it's so um, dumb. <laughs> but yeah. I do I do it. I mean I I'll go well I'll, I'll call after lunch. I'll call after work. I'll call and then it's the next day and then you're like. Oh my God, I've now a whole nother day's gone by and I still don't know what good time to call them. <laughs> it's always a good time. It's like saying this, oh my God, I have cancer. I need a, I need a cure. If only somebody will call me at one, any time. I'm like, oh, well, I have the cure to cancer. Should I call this person? Uh, they're, not, they're not ready to hear the cure to cancer yet. They're, they're too busy for their cure to cancer. I'll call them later and later and later. Next thing you know, they're dead. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> a little dark, but that's, that's pretty much what it is. So true. Yeah. If people have a problem, every time is a good time. And if you have the solution, you're a jerk from not doing that. 
Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad you got off the bench. I'm glad you went and helped these people out and, and everything else. So well done. Kudos. Congratulations. Enjoy that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and yeah, just Thank don't you. stop now. That's all. Okay. <laughs>